All right, what I'm going to try to do in this video is I'm going to try to change the rear axle gears in one take of video. You've got the press over there, tools behind you, and the van right there. So, I'm going to fast forward you. That was false. Past me was wrong. I can't do this in one day. Turns out I had the wrong carrier. I didn't look up carrier brakes prior to doing this and going from 315 gear to 410 is too big of a jump for the carrier so I spent two days trying to shim this thing right luckily my brother came in a massive save because him and I recently changed out his carrier in the back of his truck but he had 410 gears he didn't change the gears out just the carrier so I got grabbed his old carrier for free thanks man you saved my butt for sure I'm gonna go back to the video being past me, so this is future me, or past me by the time you see me. But you're going to see past past me doing a time lapse, so. What I'm doing is loosening the pinion nut prior to jacking up the truck. That way it's easier to get off because that thing is, they're torqued on there. Never mind, the pinion nut wasn't even tight. I have to show you something real quick. So I was looking at it, I was like, man, the carrier looks kind of scarred up. I wonder what that could be from. And there's a freaking tooth missing on the, the ring gear. And this is the factory stuff. The next step is to blast this ring gear off. Yeah, new bearings. Um, I'm setting up the pinion right now on my workbench. It requires a 0.031 pinion shim to get the correct depth. And then I'll just double check the no wear pattern to see if it's right. Um, I pulled the races out of the axle. Clear, nothing in there. Got them in the freezer. I froze them overnight to drive the new races in. So right now I'm just going to remeasure my pinion shim and clean up the housing that's why you clean up the axle you never know what's in there these are I presume that the teeth that were missing off this ring gear so so I froze this bad boy overnight until she's cold it's cold with my hand so I'm gonna drive it home If you don't have a press, get one. They're great. Just doing that by, oh, need, need the lever.
All right. So I've got the new bearing, the new pinion, and I'm using the old crush sleeve. If you look closely at it, see how it's all chewed up? I guarantee you that's from the, those broken teeth from the last uh, ring gear. So there's no slack in the pinion right now, but there's like no preload on this thing. And with my fancy, super fancy inch pound, man, yeah inch pound wrench, we can check actually how much preload is on here. And there's none. <laughs> Just like that, we have preload. It's probably not the right amount. It's been naked. But it's enough just to check the pattern. I'm actually curious how much this is to get a feel for it. Looks like about five inch pounds. All right, so got the pinion in with the old crush sleeve just for measurement purposes. And I'm gonna put in the carrier with the new bearings. And I'm gonna use the original shims to get a baseline and then work from there. And you are gonna need a little bit of fancy tools for this. I've got a couple of dial calipers just to measure. What I'm doing is I'm going to measure the stock shims so I, this is the left side, so I'm going to make on my paper left, right, just to mark how much to move the pinion over and how much shims I have to add or subtract. Hmm. Alright, so after blowing apart those other shims, I just made the new set because I mean I was gonna use new shims anyways. Sixty foot pounds. See that's too much backlash right there. But I'm gonna check just to see how much it is. That's a lot. So after fiddling with, with it for about an hour, moving shims around, I only had to move two thousandths of a shim from the passenger to the driver's side to get the ring gear closer to the pinion. But I'm sitting at about uh, seven thousandths back then. I'm gonna just check. I'm going to check the wear pattern right now, and if it's good, button her up. Well, not button her up. Waiting for the cross pin bolt to come in the mail because mine shattered. I don't know if this can be seen, but the heel side, which is the curved downward side, so this way facing down. I've got it right in the middle. It's kind of hard to tell. And on the toe, it's also right in the middle. So this has got perfect wear pattern. I've got to replace the crush sleeve now and install the pinion seal. All right, so what I'm doing is replacing the crush sleeve on the pinion this crush sleeve goes on the pinion and that's what holds the preload I hadn't even got to the crush sleeve yet probably it's just probably just tighten the bearing I'll, I know when I get to that crush sleeve this thing won't even spin this nut I will be dying and I'll back it off. For right now, I'm still trying to get enough threads to put the new nut on without messing it up. I'm going to 
tighten it down until the slack disappears and I'm going to measure it. It's gotten really tight, but see how there's still play? Oh, good. There, that's the crush sleeve right there. All right, so it looks like it's 14 to 19 inch pounds. Yeah, we're still got, so we got play. When your breaker bar isn't enough, get another breaker bar. A breaker bar for your breaker bar. Anyone got a spare breaker bar? Well, I said not to use a ratchet. But we're going to use a ratchet. I think I can take that wrench back and say I was not using a breaker bar or a four foot pole or a piece of metal on it to tighten a bolt. It just blew up. Huh? Duralast built a blast. I don't know. It's ironic. That's, a, that's called a breaker bar. And it broke. Oh no. Oh, that just slipped. So if I put the breaker bar the way up to it, maybe it won't slip. This is a blank. All right, mini vice grips. Better held like you've never held before. There we go. Getting 18 that way, between 16 and 18 this way. Look at that. Well, that's about all I can do now. Um, I am waiting on the cross pin bolt to come in the mail. That should be here tomorrow. Uh, I can still put the axles in, put the drum brakes on, and put the wheels on and put it on the ground. I, I can't put oil in it yet because I have to put that bolt into the cross pin shaft. If you look, if this helped, you know, subscribe, like. You don't have to do that, but it helps. You know, I'm trying to grow. Uh, plan to do the floor next. So, well, no, 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 wait. Floor, but I also gotta get the front axle done. <laughs>